didn't understand magic before, but I do now! Equestria! Suggest you do the same. Twilight, you can't do this. Why not? There's a whole other world right there, and it's just filled with magic. But you're destroying this world to get it. So what? There's more magic there. And I want to understand it all! Oh, you're wrong. Unlike you, I can have everything I want! No, you can't. Even with all that magic and power, you'll still be alone. True magic comes from honesty, loyalty, laughter, generosity, kindness. I understand you, Twilight. And I want to show you the most important magic of all! The magic of friendship. Take my hand, Twilight. Let me show you there's another way. Just like someone once did for me. By my own experiences, they'll forgive you.
Excuse me. I'm sorry, I didn't see you come in. I've been here for a while. I didn't realize. I've been trying to get your attention for like half the song. Ain't she a quiet one? Yeah, and we know some pretty shy people. Am I right? We do? Who? I'm Sunset Shimmer, president of the yearbook committee and editor-in-chief. Do you want to join? We can always use extra help. I'm Wallflower Blush. Nice to meet you. I've been on the yearbook committee all year. Oh, um... We met in ninth grade English. And I was saying it was nice to meet you then. You didn't let me finish. Anyway, I counted up all the votes for the yearbook superlatives. <laughs> Most likely to succeed, best smile, class clown. Oh, we won best friends! Applejack, Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash, Rarity, Pinkie Pie, Twilight Sparkle, and me! I always knew I liked you all, but now it's official! In yearbook form, the people have spoken! Oh, good for microchips. Most likely to invent cold fusion. I'm a reason to be jealous. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Don't worry, Twilight. We know you're a genius. Besides, it's just the yearbook. <gasps> just the yearbook? <sighs> now you are gone and done it. The student body has entrusted me with the responsibility of gathering their memories into the pages of this book. In 30 years, we might not remember everything, but we will remember what's in the yearbook. Well, I'm entrusting you not to put us next to best muscles. Every time you close the book, it'll be like we're kissing both biceps. Oh, why don't we take our picture at the beach on Saturday? Everyone's bound to look adorable. Beach day! I'll make my world famous fun in the sun cupcakes! The secret ingredient is edible sunscreen. It's SPF 500! Yeah. The great and powerful Trixie demands to speak to the yearbook editor immediately. Unfortunately for me, that's me. What do you want, Trixie? <gasps> Just as I suspected, I was not voted greatest and most powerfulest. Explain yourself. How should I put this? You didn't win greatest and most powerful because it wasn't one of the superlatives. Neither was Biggest Meanie, but that didn't stop you from winning it our freshman year. That was different. The whole school voted for her. She was so mean. Of course, we all know you've earned the right not to be remembered that way. Thanks. We're not having a greatest and powerfulest superlative. Sorry. Oh, you're the one who'll be sorry, Sunset Shimmer, when you least expect it. I'll have my revenge, and then I'll disappear like this. Behold, the magician's exit. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me. We were actually on our way out. <laughs> I'll just finish up. Oh, forgot to turn off the lights. In the dark. Dear Princess Twilight, I thought you'd be happy to hear that the girls and I were voted best friends in the yearbook today. After all, if you hadn't forgiven me, I'd still be the arrogant student I was when I left Equestria. You gave me the second chance I didn't deserve and I'll never forget it. Your friend, Sunset Shimmer. Run number 36A, attempt seven. Success! Oh no. <laughs> Your eyes do not deceive you. I finally invented a selfie sensing camera. It hovers into position whenever it detects a selfie opportunity. <laughs> I prefer to take selfies myself. E. Which beach blanket should be used for the photograph? You mean the white one or the white one? This is toasted oat. 
and linen lamb's wool. Eggshell, warm frost, pale nimbus, and... Well, that one is white, I suppose. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Don't worry, Rarity. I got it! No, I got it! I got it! Uh, I got it! I got it! No! Ah! Oh, I don't got, got it. it. <gasps> oh, shit, monster! Oh, shit, monster! <laughs> Quincy the sea turtle says the tide's coming in. We should take the picture soon or risk having damp ankles. Oh, he's so thoughtful. Ugh. <laughs> oh, Twilight! You got the selfie sensor working? Okay. So, who's ready to take a best friend's picture? Uh-oh, what did I do? Should we do it now, or did you want to swim first? How's the water? Sunset shimmer? Asking to be in our best friend's picture? <laughs> now I've heard it all. Am I missing the joke here? The only joke is whatever this is you're playing on us. Acting all nice like you're our friend. And it's not funny. Because you aren't nice. And we ain't friends. Wait, what? You got applesauce in your ears? I said we ain't friends. You sure can. This has to be a bad dream. Wake up, Sunset. Wake up! Ow! Nope, you're awake! Ow! <laughs> Me too! <laughs> what about you? <laughs> no! Rainbow Dash, you saved me in that race! What are you talking about? I can see your memories, and I'm not in them. And exactly how is it you can see our memories, if you don't mind me asking? With this. Oh, it's obviously a cheap knockoff of ours. We got them together. You were there, remember? Why is she still talking to us? Pinkie Pie, what about when I came to your sleepover before the Battle of the Bands? Ha! The closest you've ever come to a party of mine is freshman year when you pretended to be Applejack and texted me. Your party is lamer than a hungry duck in snow boots. Like I'd ever say that. It really hurt my feelings. And wasn't very nice to the ducks, either. That was a long time ago. Twilight, you remember me, right? We've been through so much together. Please. I only met you once, when you yelled at me at the games. Doesn't anyone remember that I've changed? Maybe not any one. I'll be right back. Don't hurry back, darling. <sighs> Dear Princess Twilight, this is gonna sound crazy, but are we friends? Am I nice? 
please answer? Of course we're friends! <sighs> Are you okay? What's going on? Kinda hard to explain. Might be easier in person. Well, not person, so to speak. trying to hug you. So, what's been happening? This is bad, Sunset. It's way beyond anything I've ever heard of. Although... What? I just had an idea, but you might not like it. I'll do anything to get my friends back, Twilight. There is one pony who might be able to help, but I don't know if you two want to see each other. Who? Oh... Maybe you can guess, because she's right here. But, um... Am I helping? Princess Celestia, the last time we saw each other, I was your snide little pupil who betrayed and abandoned you. I wouldn't have said it that way. <clears throat> what Sunset means to say is... I mean that I come before you a changed pony, humbly asking for forgiveness, guidance and knowledge. Or I can just go and you never have to see me again. I've missed you, Sunset Shimmer. I'm so sorry. I am not familiar with the exact spell that could have erased your friend's memories, but it sounds like equestrian magic is at work in your world. Mm, indeed. The toilings of this nefarious enchantment could portend unimaginable catastrophe if left unchecked. Sorry. I'm just used to hearing you say no student parking in the faculty lot. <laughs> this faculty lot you speak of sounds like a place of great power. <laughs> the answers you seek are in the Canterlot Library. There's over a million books in here. I wish! But don't worry, you're looking at some pony who knows this place like the back of her hoof. Where are you going, Princess Celestia? to the restricted section. There's a... Okay. 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 Breathe, Twilight. Helping me go through all this stuff. Don't take this away from me! I should warn you, however, the archive's mechanical catalog has not been well maintained. <laughs> Guess we'll have to read everything! Come on! No way! Can you believe they have? Sunset. That's when it gets good. <gasps> Over here! 
original Wendigo weather warning from the pre-equestrian era! Oh, I just, I just, I just can't! <sighs> Did you know Chancellor Puddinghead tried to pass a law mandating Earth ponies drink carrot juice at every meal? I do. Know that. No. Aw, sounds like you got to read all the fun books. Yeah, I should probably take a break from looking. <sighs> because I found something! You're familiar with the seven trials of Clover the Clever? Obviously. Why? Well, first of all, these date back to before the founding of Equestria. Look at this. The Memory Stone. That sounds promising. It belonged to an evil sorceress who was practically invincible. With the memory stone, she could erase any memory from any pony, even fragments of memories. Fragments? Like memories of me being nice? Mm-hmm. Clover the Clever knew the sorceress had to be stopped and the stone destroyed, so he chased her across land and sea. But every time he got close, the sorceress would erase his memory and escape. But he kept finding her. How? These scraps of parchment, he secretly wrote everything down so he'd know what had happened and where to go next, like a trail of breadcrumbs. Clever. Oh, Clover the, yeah, got it. What happened on the other side of this portal? The last page is missing. Clover must have hit it to keep any pony else from finding the memory stone. Sunset, what if the memory stone ended up in your world? And someone is using it to make everyone hate me again. But who? Welcome to Rock Talks with Maud. Are you ready for rocks? Woo! Me too. I'm thrilled that you are here at the Canterlot Natural History Museum to learn about rocks, minerals, fossils, and last but not least, landforms. As you can see, our display is currently undergoing some metamorphic changes. It's been rocky getting this new one off the ground, and we're all feeling the pressure. That's a little rock business humor for you. Ha ha. Good one, Maud! <laughs> Thank you. Minerals are classified as naturally occurring substances formed in a geological process. They feature a crystalline structure in addition to specific physical properties and chemical composition. Now for something really fun. I will point to the sedimentary rocks. There, and there, there. That one. There, and there. Ready that for one. what we planned with Maud? Mm -hmm. Let's one. do it. Thanks to the rock cycle, we also have these gems. Friction heats up rocks. Baked rock doesn't melt. It forms them into crystals. <gasps> but all of it starts with hot magma rising to the crust through volcanic pipes. You might know it as lava. <laughs> Magnificent. And the process of fossilization is the reason we have these dinosaur bones. Imagine, if you will, that these colossal prehistoric beasts are walking through the museum right now. <laughs> Look at that. You don't have to imagine. Dino might. As a proud member of the Mod Squad, I just wanted to ask, will you sign my geology book? Look at Mod! She's ecstatic! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Why ever do you have that swine accompanying you to school, Applejack? It's photo day for all the clubs, and it's a young farmer's club tradition to have your critter in the yearbook picture. You're lucky you're only in one club. I'm in five this year. So busy. Well, young farmers is just one of the six clubs that I'm in. Uh, oh, I'm in five sports clubs. Sweeties, darling, lovies. It's not a competition.
scores are in, and it's a darn tootin' tie. Gah. You have got to be kidding me. After all that? At least between the two of us, we joined every single club at CHS. <clears throat> Not all the clubs. How did we miss that one? Uh-uh-uh, darlings. It's very exclusive. Is that my pig? Oh, well, of course. You can't expect me to be the president and the vice president. 